You're gonna have all your f***ing oh. containers. Do you need to say f***ing containers or can you just say containers? I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> here, we're going to bugger everything off. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here that I probably doesn't need to be in this cupboard. There's a candle up there. One basket of clean washing. Two baskets of clean washing. And one basket of wet washing. Do not put the butt off. It is currently 10 o'clock in the morning. Regan and Lincoln have gone off to daycare today. The last time Regan was sick was literally five days ago now, and Linky was sick four days ago, so they are both totally fine to go to daycare. However, Miss Miller, we thought she was totally fine, thought she was on the mend. She hadn't vomited for like over 24 hours. And then this morning, out of nowhere, she had the biggest throw up, literally all over the couch and all over the rug. So it's been one of those days today where I've just been getting into the house and cleaning up as much as I can but I thought I may as well go along with that because there's so many bits and pieces of the house that I feel like I really need to get into and organize so we have Bissell the couch the house is nice and clean but it is still drying it's still quite wet I've pulled the rug up I've just popped it in the washing machine but yes it's basically just been one of those mornings where I've been running around because there's just been so much like vomit and poo and everything else everywhere but anyways I thought that I would quickly give you guys a little book update too as you guys know I've been reading the a good girl's guide to murder series this third book is quite thick I didn't know how I would go reading it because this is one of the bigger books that I have read so far. This is the third book to the series and so far it's my favorite which has really surprised me. I gave myself one week to read it. I was like if I give myself a week I'll hold myself accountable and I'll actually finish it whereas I feel like otherwise I would have just like kept putting it off because it is a bigger book to read and I'm almost done. I feel like within the next couple of days I will be done and it's only been three days. So loving this so far. Really suspenseful. Keeping me on my toes and surprisingly my favorite out of the three books. I felt really bad this morning because because Mila has not been sick at all, all day yesterday, all last night. Like she was 100% fine, and this morning she's like, Mom, I feel sick in my belly, I feel sick in my belly. And I was like, oh, you should be fine, sweet. Like, you haven't, like, really eaten anything. And she was like, no, Mom, I'm going to vomit. And then, like, out of nowhere, I couldn't even get a bucket fast. I'm, like, running around the house trying to find where the bucket was. <laughs> and she just vomited everywhere. But, yeah, it was so weird, because she went, like, pretty much 24 hours, no spews, and then all of a sudden it started back up again. So... Hopefully you're better now, hey. Wait and see how you go for the rest of the day. But also you didn't really eat yesterday. You ate dinner last night, she ate dinner last night but then nothing all night long and then this morning it just all came back up, hey babes. Have you had much or you got water next to you? I drank, I drank um, 10 um, drinks of water. That's good babe. Glasses of water. That's good, you need to drink heaps of water. I drink heaps of water. That's good baby. Yeah. I know, baby. I hope you don't vomit anymore either. So, guys, I'm going to sit down in peace, finish my coffee, and then keep going around the house and getting it clean while I can. The days go so fast when Lincoln and Reed are at daycare. So, get as much done as I can. Oh, that's a good coffee. Have you had a sip? It's a good coffee. like every cupboard in our house from the holidays I just started like shoving things in places throwing things in places because it was just like so busy with the kids at home I just haven't done a good clean not only that but I've kind of like thrown things back in so nothing's organized or nothing really makes sense so today also I might attempt to reorganize a few of the cupboards around the house my bathroom cupboard <laughs> It's definitely one of them that needs some love. There's a lot of random stuff in my bedroom and over in the corner here. So I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here that I probably doesn't need to be in this cupboard. This cupboard is my most used one for like when I'm in my bathroom or my skincare and that makes total sense to be here. But a lot of the other stuff, like there's a candle up there. A candle does not need to be <laughs> in this cupboard. So yes, I think I might go through this one first. And even like my hair care stuff is over here, like half between Kurt's, half between mine. I think I need to just sort it out. Like put all the skincare together hair care together and I might actually share with you guys some of my products that I've been using for my hair as well um, since I've got my extensions out. I haven't really been using anything long enough yet to know the results especially with like hair I feel like it takes months and months of using stuff to know if it's any good but this is stuff that I've just like done research on and heard 
um, a lot of good things about. So yeah, I'll share those with you guys. You all know that I'm an avid Esme skin user. I'm obsessed with their products. So that is what I use for my skin. And I've not touched another skin product in literally three years. Like it is all that I've used on my skin. I love their products so much. This is not sponsored by the way. And then I'm gonna pull everything out. But for hair, I've been using the Ordinary Hair Care. This oil is good because it's not super oily. You kind of put it on your hair and you can leave it on. Um, but this is meant to be great for hair growth and for hair density. So I have gone through a whole bottle of that just about. I've actually just ordered another one. I feel like this one's really good for like the days when you don't know if you're going to want to wash your hair the next day or if you can like push it out further because it doesn't make it like completely oily that you can't wash it. So I alternate between like this every second night and then this one I've been trying to do maybe like twice a week. This one's like really oily but, but I've seen hectic reviews on TikTok about it. Um, I've only just started this, like I've only used it twice so can't tell you guys what I think of it yet. But that's the other oil that I'm using. That one you have to wash it the next morning, like there's no going back once you put this in your hair. Something else, I used to use this back in the day. I've used this for years and years. You just get it from Coles. It is such a good leave-in conditioner. And I did a lot of research and I found out that leave-in conditioner is actually a really, really important step in your hair care routine. So I just put this on when my hair is damp. And yeah, I've gone through so many bottles of this over the years. I couldn't use it when I had hair extensions, but once they came out, I've gone back to using it again. This is really random. This is off Amazon. <laughs> this is a massager for my hair. So when I do my oil nights, which is like once or twice a week, I give my hair like, oh, I don't know, you meant to do it for five minutes. Some days it's like 30 seconds, I swear. But if I have time and I turn it into like a little pamper routine, then I use this for like a little massager to massage it into my scalp. Garnier Wide Tooth Comb. That is all I use to brush my hair. I don't actually use a brush anymore. This is my old one from when I had my extensions. It was so much hair on it. <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner. I use this Virtue Flourish one. I also saw some really good results about that. Then I've also got some Kevin Murphy ones. I used to use them when I had extensions, but they're still fine on my hair now too. And then I've got some Kerastase. Kerastase, don't know how to pronounce that. I've got a few of their um, hair masks and things too. A Georgie Main hair mask. And the Esme Shampoo and Conditioner. They're also great. But I mix up my products a lot. Like with my shampoo and conditioner, I don't use the same one every day. I kind of just switch between a heap of them. Oh, and this oil here, Moroccan oil. Really, really love that. I get so many questions about my hair since I have um, taken my extensions out. It's so damaged. So I really do feel like I've been trying to treat it with a lot of care. I've tried a bunch of different oils. I've tried like the argan oil. I've had this for ages. The good thing is about those oils too, they last so long. Then I've also tried a different one over here, which is nearly empty now. And then heaps of these as well. I just passed down to Miller. Miller loves putting them in her hair. But yes, that one is definitely my favorite hair oil that I've tried. And then obviously just using heat protectant sprays whenever I use heat on it, but I rarely use heat on it now. It's like once a week. So that's kind of what I've been doing using for hair care. I've had so many messages coming through about that. And also I feel like it's like I've done like a little bit of research on before buying because hair products are expensive and I want to make sure if I buy something that it's going to actually help the things that I'm wanting it to. But anyways, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting off track. I'm going to go and organize this cupboard. <laughs> shampoo this is the one that I would not recommend it literally did not even shampoo my hair like I felt like my hair was always greasy whenever I used it but I have got more oily hair this is just like not it for me the conditioner was fine but shampoo no also I'm realizing when I'm going through this cupboard how much stuff I need to give away obviously with my family and friends and stuff like that I give them stuff I usually do a clean out like once every few months and just kind of give stuff away um, and I definitely need to do that again I feel so like lucky and fortunate to be in this in the situation that I am where I do get stuff sent out to me all the time but I also hate wasting it. So I definitely give it all new homes. I never throw anything out. But yeah, there's a few things that are sitting up there, heaps of other skincare ranges and stuff like that. Like I'm so happy and content with my skincare routine that I've had throughout the years that I don't want to like mix it up or like even, for example, this, like I tried that shampoo, did not work for me, but then somebody that I know that has more dry hair, maybe will work great for them. So just kind of making a bit of a pile as I go of things that I can give away. Okay. Well, this makes so much more sense now. I've got all of my skincare down here. Then I've got all of my hair care here with a few extra bottles here that are brand new ones. So when I run out, I've got a few spare. My perfumes that I don't use every day are up here. So these are just like my extra ones that I have. Some more skincare over here, some masks and bits and pieces. This is Kurt's section. <laughs> and then down here, I've never had my fake tan here, but this is something that I do like once to twice a week. 
Um, so I thought it probably makes sense to chuck that in there. Loving Tan, I do have a code for them as well if you guys are ever wanting to get some free goodies with my code. It's down in the description, I'm pretty sure. Extra oils here. I put these here because I don't want to lay them down in a drawer anyway and I also don't want to throw them out. This one does not have a lid and I'm worried this one's going to leak. So I just kind of shove them in the corner. Then over here, I've got some hideaway. So I've got some body custards, um, some whip soap, which is something that I use every day as well. That is looking so much better. And now I just have to sort it all on my makeup desk. So some of it is empty and needs to be thrown out. Some of it needs to be packed away somewhere else because it's something that I don't use often. So for example, the body scrubs, usually a packet lasts me ages and I only use them once a week. So it's something that I don't really need to have like that many of them packed into that cupboard and then a lot of the stuff's like brand new that I need to go through and see like what I want to give away is in this drawer here so I don't know if I'm going to get to that today that could be a job for another day I've got to sort something out in this corner over here guys top tray there is like my tanning products the second tray is like all random stuff it did have like little liners and stuff like that but now it's just kind of I need to sort this out but what I'm wanting to do downstairs we've got that like corner bookshelf I'm wanting to put th that up here and organize everything into little shelves I might even do that today I'll see how I go because downstairs we've ordered something very exciting so we need somewhere to put that and I said to Kurt I'm like I have the perfect place I'm gonna pop that there if you didn't know what I was talking about this is it that would be pretty well perfect for me to pop all those bits and pieces is in here we're going to bugger everything off and we have got two big bookshelves that we're getting there and this is where i'm going to start my little book collection we have got the bookshelves up in the room but they are already nearly full and also i told kurt that what i'm going to do is as i read each book i'm going to add it into the bookshelf so then it's kind of like an exciting thing as well for me to keep tabs of how many i've read and not only that but i've never been like happy with that space so i think it's a perfect thing to put there and then um, it's got like all different little peepholes and drawers down the bottom as well or cupboards We don't need to fill the whole thing with books Just kind of see what it's like when it comes when it comes we put it together I'll definitely film it for you guys so you can see us putting it all together, but that is on its way So it should come probably in the next week or so. Do you need me? What do you need me for? Um, I've got what I want to do here, but yeah. now there's just some um, Love Ellis Rose stock water it would, but Most of it is. is oh, wow, okay Oh, go back one, go back two. That, no, four, that one. Well, I must be liking the right ones if they're all the most expensive. <laughs> <laughs> four, is it that one? No, three, three, one. Oh, that one's free. Yeah. And then that one's that price too. Yeah. Okay. Feet are burning. Ah, what? Why is it the hose is so sticky? Oh, my feet are like sticking to the rocks now. It feels like sticky tape. One basket of wet washing. I'm gonna go hang these ones up outside and there's more in the laundry. Kurt and I were both in there before, weren't we Kurt? And we were like, what is that smell? There was just something in there that smelled of poo and we could not pinpoint what it was, but this is just reality of when you have a two year old that is toilet training and not wanting to wear any nappy or undies or anything 90% of the time. I think we ended up finding out what it was. That was a towel, wasn't it? That on a towel or something. Anyway. What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait. And remember this. Should we tackle the shelf? Maybe. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be helping you lift it. Thank you. I'm going to figure out where we want to put all this. This can go on the bookshelf when we get it. So for now, what do I put it in the office? This needs a clean too. Don't judge me. I have three kids that have been at home. <laughs> this isn't right. It's not. All right, do you need me to help with this? Oh, no. I'm Is it to light? Show off. We've been a bit disconnected from how sick we've all been the last couple of days. Let's try to show off. <laughs> oh, this is the heaviest thing I've ever lifted. It's so light, hey? No, it's. Oh. 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 We could put it there and it could just be. No, that's like blocking the staircase. No, and just. Everywhere, so it's just a little bit. Oh, that cannot go on. It's PG. <laughs> Can I get you to help me move all this stuff out? Yeah. Oh, found me nail polish. Are you looking for that? All my makeup bags. Okay. I'm probably going to use these still to stack up in there. Let's see how I go. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Look at the shelf there. <laughs> stuff in here. 
Well, well, a lot of stuff in here. It's like Panadol, lip glosses, lipsticks. Cash money? No, cash. No money. Oh, there's a gift voucher, bud. I think you're fine. Can you just bend your arm in there and grab the head? There's a hair thing that went behind it. What is it? I uh, like extension of hair. Oh, really? Yeah, to be just right there. Though. I cannot see it. Ready? I've been wanting to do this for so long. Are you ready to get in there? Okay, hang on, I'll go around here. Is it gonna this is a good there? hiding spot. Yeah, hey, Peter. Yeah, well. Okay, you ready? Oh, it's packed with tampons down there too. Should I grab them? No, we don't care about periods. Oh, okay. These drawers, by the way, are the most annoying thing ever. They just continually open. I need to, like, put something in the front of them to push them back. Don't say it. I looked at it and I was like, surely it's going to work. I've got a good eye, that's the truth. i got a good eye? Yeah. And my PowerPoints can still be used, hey. We're going to do this. Turn it. Oh, brilliant idea. Oh, no. Is that weird, but Because it's like not against a wall there? Eh? Why? It is against a wall. We'll just put the pot here. No, this side. Let's put the pot. You're going to have all your oh. containers. Do you need to swear when you say it before you say containers? Do you need to say containers or can you just say containers? I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> it's probably easier for me to get to everything, hey? Do not put the one up there. You put the small one up there, but not that one. That's where your containers will be, right? Eh? That's going to be way easier for me to get to everything. Yeah. Good idea to do it that way. This is where I'll be for the next 45 minutes. to make the lighting better but I think I'm just making it worse. Since I'm culling so much as I'm going, it's actually like kind of empty. This is such a nice feeling. I should have done this so long ago. But these little containers I'm going to stack up. There's a little bit of an area. I'll show you guys. Down here there's like a perfect little space to stack all of these in which are just full of like razors and stuff like that. Oh no, these boxes are so annoying. Halloween goes off like that. It's got some makeup brushes, put the makeup in there. There we go. So I'm gonna stack all of those there. I'm getting somewhere. Okay, this is looking pretty good if I don't say so myself. Feels like it's so much better organized. I could probably move a few things around from here onto there if I wanted to, or some stuff in the drawer. I'll just have a little look. But down the bottom so far, I've just got all tampons and liners, tanning products, then I have got my hair products. And yeah, I don't think I want to overcrowd it. I think I want to leave space so as things come in, I've got like somewhere to put things. So there's definitely a fair bit of room down the bottom there. But the last thing for me to tackle upstairs is this. This is my like most used place whenever I'm upstairs. And these are just full of makeup bags. What do I do with these? I think I'm gonna leave them in there. And toothbrush heads. Sweet, and another one of these is empty as well. Well guys, I feel like that was a great success. This I'm gonna leave to another day because I need to go through all of my drawers. I also need to wash my makeup brushes. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.